The phenological events in the macadamia season are associated with specific pest pressures and the infestation levels can cause crop losses either directly or indirectly over time. It is therefore important to know which pests cause what number of losses during specific phenological events. The seasonal events should be tracked along with the monitoring records of associated pests and quality losses. Uh, this, this tree has got a, a good set and we expect some flowers in, in a few months time and over here we, we might find some aphids I think um, on the flowers and we might see some thrips on the flowers but uh, I think it's, it's back to the basics of integrated pest management that says that you need to do everything you can to prevent that these pests causes damage and then you monitor for them and then only you intervene. There's honeybees, there's pollinators around and um, we, we often find that the pests don't really cause damage and farmers don't necessarily have to intervene. So that way we won't lose the beneficials, we won't kill what we don't necessarily want to kill. When macadamia flowers are developing on racemes, thrips and flower diseases may cause significant damages. Aphids are often observed on closed racemes, however the damage they cause do not seem to be significant at this stage. Open flowers are also susceptible to disease, while they are pollinated by various natural pollinators. Cross-pollination between certain cultivars enhance nut set and nut quality. It's very important to know that um, that uh, thrips A like flowers, but B they, they like new flush. Mm. So and um, and C um, in winter time when the guy is pruning and you get your new regrowth, um, it may be worthwhile you know having a very careful look at uh, and protecting monitor. them and monitoring. Yeah. So running through the phenology of the macadamia tree. I think after nut set it's important to start looking for stink bugs as well as nut borer and make sure that you intervene soon enough um, which is normally around the nut drop period and then to prevent egg laying in the orchards. Absolutely. What's interesting is that uh, in, in autumn, late summer, we do we do pick up uh, actually a complex of, of diseases and pests. Um, Macadamia felt it because it most certainly becomes more of a problem. It's not a problem for the entire country, mm -hmm. but it's rapidly becoming a problem for the Nelspreet, Barberton and White River area, and also for the northern coastal areas. Uh, but with that, we're also picking up uh, increasing amounts of bark borers and, and, um, and also... also um, Stink bugs breeding in the orchard. That's right, that's right. We find some insects um, that are beneficial in the sense that they parasitize the stink bug egg packets and normally this time of the season when the crop is mature we find that stink bugs are not completely controlled uh, because the trees are dense again uh, we, we're coming up to pruning season after the harvest but if you don't uh, make very sure that that you completely cover the trees to the tops then the stink bugs start breeding in the orchards and, and these numbers just escalate. From the nut borer life cycle, we can see that larvae can be found in husks in the tree, on the orchard floor, and pupae can mostly reside in the organic surface of the soil. This means that orchard sanitation, which means removing all the macadamia nuts from the orchards during harvesting, forms part of the preventative measures against the nut borer. Monitoring is the next step in the IPM strategy. After nut set, I think it's important to start monitoring for nut borer, and there are different ways to monitor. We use fixed monitoring and field monitoring. I think a good example of fixed monitoring is the delta traps that we deploy early in the season for nut borer. Um, these delta traps sometimes gives us a very good indication of the first moth flight peak and then we start looking for eggs which is a part of the field, field monitoring or scouting that farmers call it and um, that's when we actively look on the husks for little eggs. The phenology of the trees determine to a large extent which pests to look for 
through, throughout the macadamia season. What is the monitoring methods that you use? Yeah, normally we use uh, two methods. It's the field monitoring and also the fixed monitoring. What is field monitoring? Field monitoring is basically when you go to the farm or the orchard and you walk around the trees, uh, checking for the sting bug eggs, checking for the nut which has been infested by, by borers. Uh, we also check the, the eggs for the sting bugs. It normally lays eggs on the fruits and also on the stem. I think it's important to also look for eggs of the borers on the nuts yes, while yes. the nuts are still in the trees. Yes, yes. And um, you mentioned fixed monitoring, what is that? Yeah, fixed monitoring is where you check the weather station data and also the traps. Once we have done everything in our power to prevent the pests from damaging the crop yeah. and monitoring, we need to intervene in yes. a way that it is feasible for the farm yeah. and also based on our monitoring records. Yes.